Hello students. Today we will start the solution of NCRT 10th. First we will start from the chapter electricity. And uh, in electricity chapter, as, uh, as given in NCRT, the uh, first question of exercise is, here only I write the uh, question in short form, then we will do solution. A piece of wire of resistance R is cut into five equal parts. These parts are then connected in parallel. If the equivalent resistance of the combination is R dash, then the ratio of R and R dash will be. As it is given in the question that a piece of wire of resistance R, it is cut into five equal parts. It is cut into five equal parts. It, it means that each part having the resistance R by 5, R by 5 and so on. Now these parts are then connected in parallel. As we know, uh, in parallel combination, the equivalent resistance can be find out by the relation 1 by R equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 and so on up to N. And if, if this all resistance are same, means R, R, R and uh, these are connected in parallel then equivalent, their, their equivalent can be find out by 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R. Suppose it is equivalent resistance. Then R equivalent will, uh, 1 by R equivalent will be, suppose there are N same resistances connected in parallel. Then 1 by R equivalent will be N by R. 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R up to N. Then it will be N by R and R equivalent will be R by N. So directly from this relation we can find out the equivalent resistance when equal resistances are connected in parallel. N equal resistances are connected in parallel. If two resistance, two equal resistance are connected in parallel then it will be R by 2. If three resistance will be there then R by 3. If four then R by 4 and so on. But these resistances should be equal if there are equal resistances. So in this question it is given that first R, uh, the resistance R is cut into 5 equal parts. Then each part will be having R by 5 resistance. Then, then they are connected in parallel. If they are connected in parallel then by this formula we can write that their equivalent resistance will be R by N. R is the equivalent re um, equal resistance which is R by 5. So R by 5 upon number of resistances and number of resistances is 5 then their equivalent resistance will be r by 25 right this is according to question that, uh, this is if the equivalent resistance of this combination is r dash then this is r dash now we have to find out the ratio of r and r dash so by this we can find out r by r dash it will be 25 right so option d Next question, which of the following term does not represent electrical power in the circuit? I square R, I R square, V I, V square upon R. So obviously this is the, um, these are the direct formulas given in the um, chapter. So B option is right. I R square is not, not the formula for power. These are the direct formulas. So no need to solve them. Next question, an electrical bulb is rated 220 volt and 100 watt. When it is operated on 110 one uh, volt, then the power consumed will be. It is given that an electrical bulb is rated 220 volt, 220 volt, 100 watt. And when it is operated at 110 volt, then we have to find out the power consumed. Since um, it is given that the when when this bulb is operated at 220 volt it will uh, it will consume the 100 watt power now we can find out the resistance of bulb by this uh, rating and as we know power p is v square upon r so we can find out the r it will be v square upon p v square 220 into 220 upon 100 so this will be 480 right now if they are uh, if this bulb 484 ohm now if this bulb is operated at 110 volt one when this is operated at 110 volt then there will be no change in resistance in the value of resistance 
simply this resistance will be 484 ohm because resistance does not depend on the uh, volt uh, the source uh, source then we can find out the power consumed by the simple formula p equals to v square upon r v is now this time 110 into 110 110 and uh, r is 484 now by solving this we get 25 right so option d is right 25 what uh, now next next question is two conducting wires of same resistances sorry same material and of equal lengths and equal diameters are first connected in series and then parallel in the circuit across the same potential difference the ratio of heat produced in series and parallel combinations would be now uh, as we know first uh, the series uh, in series and parallel combination we have to find out the ratio of heat and heat energy is given by i square rt v square upon rt or vit now it is given two conductive wires of same material and of equal length and equal diameter same material equal length and equal diameter by this he want to give that their resistances are same their their resistances are same suppose two conducting wire suppose they are having the resistance r right now they are first connected in series if they are connected in series then their equivalent will be r plus r means 2r but when they are connected in parallel then equivalent will be suppose it is r2 and uh, it was r1 then one uh, because they are same resistance so r by n and r by n number of resistance 2 so r by 2 the equivalent resistance will be r by 2 as i told you the formula for parallel combination if same resistances are connected in parallel then their combination their resultant will be uh, find out by the relation r by n where r is the uh, value of resistance and n, n is the number of uh, n is the number of resistance so r by 2 now they are connected in sir circuit across the same potential difference same potential difference suppose potential difference is v same potential difference means for the uh, for calculating the heat we should use the formula v square upon rt because uh, it is given that v is same for both the cases when they are connected in series and when they are connected in parallel for both the cases the source is same v uh, r is changed and in equal time we have to find out the ratio of heat produced so we can use this formula h equals to v square upon rt now for first case if we apply this formula heat energy will be h1 equals to v square upon r in uh, series combination their equivalent is 2r suppose time is t and for second case heat energy s2 equals to v square because voltage is same same source is there and r is r by 2 and t now we have to find out the ratio of heat uh, from series to parallel so h1 by h2 h1 is v square upon 2r into t h2 is v square ya yeah, 2v square upon r 2v square because 2 uh, here uh, it is r by 2 so 2v square by r we have to find out this ratio now simple v square upon 2r t or we can say r upon 2v square into t v square v square cancel out t r then it will be 1 by 4 so simple c option will be right 1 is to 4 now next question how is the voltmeter connected in the circuit to measure the potential difference between two points if voltmeter is connected in parallel combination then it it give the potential difference between two points suppose we uh, we want to find out the potential difference across a and b so we have to connect the potential uh, voltmeter in parallel with this resistance with these points uh, at which we have to find out the potential difference because v equals to ir and uh, resistance of ideal voltmeter should be infinity so that no current will pass through this 
uh, through this wire uh, wire having voltmeter and all the current will pass through this resistance i and suppose this resistance is r so v will be v equals to i r because so uh, so the resistance of ideal voltmeter should be infinity so that no current will pass through this arm okay now question 6 a copper wire has diameter 0.5 mm and resistivity of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter what will be the length of the wire to make the resistance 10 ohm how much the uh, how much does the resistance change of its diameter is doubled it is given in the question that uh, copper wire has diameter is 0.5 mm resistivity means rho is given which is 1.6 into 10 to power minus 8 ohm meter what will be the length of the wire to make its resistance resistance is 10 ohm um what will be the length we have to find out the length of the wire first for solving any numerical we have to write uh, all the things uh, what uh, what quantities are given and what we have to find out so then we can think about the formula now diameter is given from the diameter we can find out the radius rho and uh, r and we have to find out l as we know by the formula of regis, uh, resistance r equals to rho l by a and what will be a a will be pi r square r is not given but we can find out the value of r by the diameter by half uh, by getting 0.5 by 2 and uh, we have to find out the length r is given by by the diameter we can find out radius which will be 0.05 by 2 millimeter means first we have to convert uh this millimeter into meter and 1 millimeter equals to 1 by 1000 meter or we can say 10 raised to power minus 3 meter right now by solving this we can say 0.25 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter is radius now by putting these values in this formula we have to find out l so l will be r into pi r square upon rho l will be r pi r square upon rho r is given 10 pi is we can find uh, we can put the value of pi 22 by 7 into r square means 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 square means again 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon rho and rho is given 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 8 by solving this this we get the length of the wire which will be 122 by 7 meter length so length of the wire will be 122.7 meter now next uh, question how much does the resistance change if the di uh, diameter is doubled as we know resistance is given by rho l by a as we know resistance is rho l by a actually it is not given that uh, how much uh, that if the diameter is doubled if diameter is doubled by adding some uh, some material in it uh, by by unchanging its length if diameter is doubled by unchanging its length then we can find out the resistance new resistance since resistance is directly proportional to length and uh, inversely proportional to a or we can say inversely proportional to pi r square so r square right but if uh, diam uh, if it uh, diameter is doubled by unchanging the length means length is not changing only diameter is changing then we can say if diameter will change it it is doubled if diameter is doubled means radius is doubled radius is doubled then resistance since resistance is inversely proportional to 1 by r square and if radius will be doubled 2r so 2r square means 4 means resistance will become 1 by 4 because 
uh, it is inversely proportional to r square r is doubled means r square means doubled means 4 4 times and 1 by 4 times resistance uh, will be 1 by 4 times if length is not changed then resistance will be 1 by 4 times if length is not changed means we are adding some material or m by any uh, by any uh, that we are changing only diameter then we can say resistance become 1 by 4 times but if Regist uh, but if uh, length is, uh, but if uh, we are not adding any material or uh, uh, same copper wire is by stretching uh, its diameter by compressing, sorry. If uh, diameter is doubled by compressing the copper wire, then obviously its length will be reduced. Then resistance will be changed by other uh, resistance will be changed by some other amount and it will be if uh, suppose the same uh, we are having the same uh, copper wire and uh, its diameter is doubled if a, if a given wire is uh, if the diameter of given wire is doubled and so obviously its length will be reduced by half then uh, if length will be reduced by half it means resistance become half because uh, resistance is directly proportional to L. If length is half, then resistance will be half. It will be 1 by 2 times. And if uh, radius or diameter will be doubled, then resistance will be 1 by 4 times. Means net resistance will be 1 by 8 times. 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8 times. But there will be, uh, there may be two possibilities. First is, if... Uh, only diameter is changing. Only diameter is changing means we are at uh, uh, length is not changing. Only um, by only diameter is changing. Then if only diameter is doubled, we can say resistance will be one by four times because diameter is doubled. Then resist uh, radius will be doubled. If radius will be doubled, then resistance become one by four times doubled because it is a square. But if diameter is doubled and uh, in the same wire, if diameter is doubled and we are not adding any material, then obviously if diameter is doubled for the same material, then net volume should be remain unchanged. So length will be half. And if length will be half, then resistance should be half. And uh, uh, by the diameter, resistance should be 1 by 4 and net resistance should be 1 by 8 times. So there may be two possibilities and it is not given. How much does the resistance change if the diameter is doubled? Okay. Okay, students, in next class, we'll do some, uh, we'll do the other numericals given in exercise in NCRT 10. Okay, thank you.